Welcome everybody to the first part of our 737 simulator build. And this here is a huge undertaking. You can see here we have a CAD design of the simulator. It's going to be completely modular fitting into a single trailer and uh, it's going to be one to one scale. So it's going to be a huge undertaking but it's going to be really cool. Here you can see the space that we are uh, starting the building. Uh, do some renovations and here you can see the materials for the main frame uh, metal uh, tubes and sheets a bunch of aluminium and steel and here you can see everything laid out but um, I am going to let you now enjoy myself in the past uh, when I, we start to build and thank you for watching all right so here we have this uh, frame now this is for Either the right or the left side of the uh, cockpit walls. So this is I welded them and uh, grinded them with the grinder, and it it is looking very nice. It is uh, 130 centimeters by five, 50 centimeters. So and this is gonna house the side wall only, and then this is gonna that's the main frame which would be made out of these and these. So, uh, so we'll have to make two of these uh, and then we have uh, the main frame consists of two, two pieces which are then connected together and uh, removed for the transportation because it needs to fit to a trailer that is one and a half meters by 3.3 meters. So it needs to be modular, but this is the first module. I think it's coming together very nice. I haven't welded for a very long time, but I think it's pretty nice for 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 me. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna weld this middle piece right there and the support, and I'll be back when uh, when that's done. We came back today after the Argon run out, but now we have more and we are ready to finish this and start more. Alright, so we have done this part now. Yep, it is a big boy and the yeah. yoke goes right here. Yes, and the uh, no. other uh, bit lane mechanism. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's very good. It is very much. At least I am satisfied. It is, it is all nicely grinded and it seems to be pretty square and... Uh, solid and... Quite light. Yeah. Go cool. like yeah. And then we have this that we finished. And they go together over here. Yeah. So we'll be back I think tomorrow, but we'll see. Yes. Alright guys, so we have finished the side walls today. Or not finished, but we did the wood paneling. Yes, and we went the other boy, or this boy. Yeah. And, and look at this boy. Yeah. We have this one one wood panel already. Uh, this will be for the yoke, so we haven't done it yet because the holes are not for the. Then we accidentally bought it off the buy enough, so we have this one, or maybe not this one, but other one inside. And, and yeah. All right, uh, hello. Uh, I'm here alone now, but uh, here we have this. Uh, this is the beam for the yoke mechanism. And uh, I just added some end taps here so that it's, uh, so we can mount a thread rod here and then string it around. And we can mount a thread rod right there and it can be mounted to the main assembly uh, 
is going to be pretty goddamn sturdy because last time we had only uh, 3D printed stuff here. But now it's all steel and it's gonna be a trade run right there. Um, so it should be really strong and really nice. Um, so we're doing that and next. I'm going to weld the upper upper beams that will be going in that direction and down there. And I will back when I have got uh, those welded or those cut and bridge weld. Either way, let's get back to work. All right, hello, hello. I'm here at uh, my house and I'm just looking at the yoke 3D printing mechanism and here we have the main hub assembly and then we have the uh, corresponding uh, undermounts for this. This goes around the metal tube on the yoke and I'm just looking at 3D printing them as we have previously and you can see this uh, obviously with not, not optimizing this yet we can see it's about one day print, 380 grams. I've yet to decide whether or not I want infill to be 100% or 50 or what I want, want it to be. So that's gonna be significantly uh, affecting the results, but I'm not sure. And here we're gonna see the um, uh, files that need to be printed and how many we need. Okay, so uh, here you can see the uh, rod that I was showing you on uh, Kuro. Uh, that was actually a few days ago, but uh, I'm just I have just put it printing, or uh, well, four hours ago I had it, uh, started printing this. And here uh, you can see I have printed a bunch of the parts already. This center assembly. Uh, these are the sides and the center and the sides. Anyway, also, but look at look what just arrived. The Bumble Lab P1S, and that is an absolutely gorgeous printer. I don't know. I, I haven't set it up yet. I haven't. I just got it out of the box and got rid of that uh, plastic wrapping. But like, it's just looks and feels quality it's packed so well i it seems like it's intact it's it, it seems like nothing is broken so far uh, so I'm, I'm really really quite excited to get working on this but i i'm gonna uh, leave, leave the work of camera and i'll be back when it's working and also it might be a few hours i have to do two other stuff here uh, for the simulator, which I will be covering soon. Uh, also, take a look at this. We have the uh, fiberglass and the uh, what, what, what is it? Polyester, polyester resin, or whatever you call that, and then the hardener and everything necessary. Uh, those arrived like, yesterday or something. So we have those. It's 20 square, 20 square meters and 20 kilos of that, and then it's like. 320 grams of hardener. Anyway, that should be quite enough. But we'll have to see if we have to order like a 20, 10 squares more or something. I will have to see. But yeah, we are moving really fast here and uh, we'll cut to the uh, simulator pulled over at the other place. We'll go there. All right, so we are now here. Uh, actually, I have been here for for about an hour already. So you can see I have the legs. I have the legs installed here. They are bolted in with two uh, M10 bolts and lock nuts uh, like so on each four corners. And uh, it, it's really sturdy. I don't think it flexes at all and the welds uh, held <laughs> the welds hold my weight obviously you won't be walking on the bare metal like I am so the force will be even more distributed but so this is just insanely uh, 
cool now seeing this as it's actually actually going to be So, hello, I do not remember what we recorded last time, but we are now here at the workshop area and you can see quite a lot has actually happened. Uh, first of all, we have the uh, anti-corrosive anti paint, well, green paint here to protect it from, uh, well, water and, you know, well, protect it from rusting. Uh, so it is here. And Another thing you might have noticed immediately was that it is now mounted on both sides. So it, uh, sorry, oh, there we go. You see, it moves very nicely like this. Now, it, I don't know if you can hear it. I think you can. Uh, it has a very high pitched squeak, squeaking noise. And that is not ideal, but I think that will go away when we uh, put some <laughs> some put put grease on it. And so now this side holds it uh, laterally, and then but combined they hold it in the vertical axis to keep it from sinking, of course. Uh, it does not uh, it does not move from side to side at all, and like under a millimeter to top if you lift it but you want we want you don't lift the yoke not on the boeing anyway hey thank you so much for watching this first episode of this long series where we pulled the simulator completely you can already see here we have a lot more progress happening uh, actually the part that you just saw very good at like six months ago we are now way further into the project but uh, the next episode will be about the insulation of the bottom uh, and then we will work on the yoke much more as well as the pedals and all of that stuff. Uh, we'll go in detail on all of those mechanisms in the future and we are also going to uh, go over the budget of this project so that you might uh, want to recreate any of this you can have a better idea of the costs but I'm gonna tell you this is actually relatively cheap compared to like what some commercial options are and it's not that bad but um, we'll have a separate episode for all the costs and all of that and I'll go through later on the, all the designs and where we got them um, and uh, for our own designs we might put them up uh, online so you can get them but if you like this series uh, please subscribe like this video and share it to everyone who you think you would like this um, we have new parts coming pretty soon. Uh, we have already recorded a lot, as I said, and a lot more progress has happened. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.